Doc Studio here of the DocStudio.com and the 2020 Frame.com. In today's video, I want to share with you some tips on how you can incorporate carbs in general and grains in particular into your diet as a diabetic without having to worry about blood sugar issues. Carbs in general are arguably the most maligned macronutrients out there. Uh, we blame carbs for all sorts of things. Uh, people who are having weight management problems, they blame it on carbs. Those of us who developed pre-diabetes, we blame it on carbs. And those who developed uh, full-blown type 2 diabetes, they also blame it on carbs. And for that reason, we are told to avoid carbs like a plague. But I think that is wrong because uh, in doing so, we will be ignoring a fundamental error that we all make. And it is a fact that we all tend to uh, consume lots more of refined carbs as opposed to eating the healthy complex carbs and uh, you know carbs and grains in particular they are very nourishing and uh, you'll be missing out on a lot of nutrients if uh, you avoid them so uh, how do you go about this well uh, i'm going to give you tips on how you can incorporate uh, these grains and the carbs into your diet without having to worry about blood sugar problems. But before I do that, I just want to talk about the anatomy of the grain because it will help with our understanding of what whole grain means, whole grain is healthy, and what uh, refined uh, grain actually means. So the anatomy of the grain, let's start off from there. So here we go. The grain has three layers. There is the outer layer, okay, called the bran, okay? This is the bran, this outer sheath here. Uh, the bran encapsulates the grain, and the fiber uh, that we talk about in grains resides in the bran. And the bran also has some trace minerals, and there's got some vitamins as well. So the bran is uh, equally nourishing. So that's layer number one. Layer number two, is uh, this bit here and this one here is called the endosperm okay in the endosperm we've got the starch and we also got uh, the protein in a grain like quinoa that's got a good amount of protein you're going to find it in the endosperm okay so that is layer number two layer number three is the germ okay this is the germ and uh, it's in the germ uh, that you've got the reproductive organ of the grain so if a grain is going to sprout it is uh, through the germ from which it will uh, develop but the germ is not just a reproductive organ it's quite nourishing too uh, it's got antioxidants in there uh, it's got lots of vitamins in there and it's also got the fats in there okay so that is uh, layer number three let me just show uh, the image to you in a sort of 3d uh, style so here we go so that's the brand that's the endosperm and that's the germ so when we're talking about whole grain all three have to be there the brand has to be there the endosperm has to be there and the germ has to be there that represents whole grain what about refined grain where well, refined grain uh, means the brand is stripped off the germ is stripped off and what you're left with is just the endosperm uh, that has the starch and uh, the protein so uh, this is refined grain okay but the whole grain which is the healthy grain has all three okay so now that we are clear with the anatomy of the grain let's move on to uh, the tips on how we can eat grains as diabetics without having to uh, worry about blood sugar issues so tip number one, uh, we want to avoid refined grains, okay? Because like I just said earlier on, the, the refined grain has just the endosperm only. Uh, and that, move, that takes us to tip number two, which is the fact that uh, we want to eat whole grains. If we're going to be avoiding refined grains, uh, we, then we should be eating the whole grain, okay? Because the whole grain has the bran, it's got the endosperm, and it's got the germ, okay? And uh, it kind of makes sense uh, because the whole grain has got a fiber and that will slow down your blood sugar absorption when you consume the grain. And the refined grain has just the endosperm only. So a lot of baked goods, 
that uh, you should be avoiding as a diabetic, uh, they use just the endosperm only. So not ideal. Let's move on to tip number three. Tip number three is that we want to be consuming uh, the healthier grains with low glycemic index, okay? Low glycemic index uh, grains. And that's the reason I did uh, the last video. I gave you uh, seven grains that have got low glycemic index. Uh, you should avail yourself of that opportunity. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it. Let's move on. Uh, so tip number four is that you want to spread your grain consumption throughout the day, okay? That uh, dovetails into tip number five, which is that you do not want to binge on your grains or carbs. This is related to glycemic load and glycemic index. You want to share the glycemic load uh, throughout the day as opposed to loading it up into one meal. Uh, because lots of uh, sugar will be absorbed once the grain is broken down into the sugar component. Lots of the sugar is going to get absorbed into the bloodstream and that will be too much for your liver to deal with. And of course, you end up with uh, very high sugar levels. So do not binge on your grains, okay? Next tip is that we want to limit our portions, okay? It's kind of related to the last tip. Uh, so we should be aiming for 30 to 60 grams of carbs per meal okay limit our portions that way we will uh, have better glycemic uh, response next tip is that uh, we want to add our grains to soups uh, we want to add our grains to salads we also want to add our grains to casseroles and the idea behind that is that we're going to have better texture in the soup or the salad and the grain will also uh, give us uh, a bit of uh, a feeling effect so we feel fuller uh, when uh, we do this okay so uh, it's just one way of consuming your grains okay next tip is that if you are going to make a porridge with your grain uh, you should use a blood sugar dampening sweetener okay and uh, i'm a very big fan of this and i gave you two examples uh, I've done videos on both of them before. Uh, you want to use something like yakon syrup or allulose, okay? Yakon syrup or allulose. It will help to slow down the sugar absorption and uh, that way you don't end up with blood sugar spikes, okay? Very important, seriously. Uh, I love that tip. And in relation to that tip is that you want to be uh, eating your grains with acidic foods, okay? because acidic foods tend to lower your glycemic response, okay? Another good tip there for you, which leads me on to the next tip, uh, which is that if you are going to add your, your grains to salads, okay? Because in a salad, you're probably gonna use a dressing, and I, I will encourage you to use a vinaigrette dressing, all right? Uh, vinaigrettes, by their very nature, are acidic, and uh, they will help you slow down the uh, blood sugar absorption and that will stabilize uh, your blood sugar levels as opposed to having a huge spike all of a sudden, okay? So uh, use vinaigrette dressings in your uh, salads uh, where you have grains in them. Next tip, uh, this is another favorite of mine and I've talked about this tip before uh, when I give you tips on how to consume fruits. You want to pair your grains with protein or veggies, okay? Protein or veggies. They will help you slow down your blood sugar absorption. So something like Greek yogurt, you want to have it with your grains. Uh, you want to have something like celery uh, with your grains. All of those will help you slow down the blood sugar absorption, okay? Very important tip there. The next tip is that uh, is related to this uh, previous one which is that instead of using breadcrumbs, uh, if you want to uh, coat your chicken or your fish, uh, use the grains, okay? So something like cooked quinoa will make a nice coating for your fish uh, or your chicken uh, if you are into uh, eating uh, meat. Um, it will make very nice coating for your, uh, for your chicken or your fish uh, when you bake them. And because the chicken or the fish uh, have protein, uh, they will also help you slow down the blood sugar absorption, okay? So, uh, there we go. And the next tip is that um, you want to you want to aim for two servings of whole grains per day, okay? 
and if you're somebody who is still struggling with your blood sugar problems uh, what I would say is uh, probably limit your green consumption to four to five days a week all right uh, but uh, ordinarily reduce your grain consumption to two servings uh, of whole grains per day okay so uh, talking about servings uh, what is a serving so here we go I want to give you examples of what uh, one serving represents so um, for brown rice uh, it is half a cup of cooked brown rice okay that's one serving uh, for oatmeal is half a cup of cooked oatmeal okay that's one serving for pearl barley it is half a cup of cooked pearl barley for buckwheat it's half a cup of cooked buckwheat and uh, for uh, red rice is half a cup of cooked red rice the same thing for black rice half a cup of cooked black rice represent one serving and uh, the same thing for rye as well okay half a cup for uh, quinoa is a third of an uncooked quinoa that will represent one serving and of course if you are into your bread uh, one slice of whole grain bread okay it's got to be uh, bread that's been made from the whole grain that has uh, the bran, the endosperm, and the germ. Okay, if the bread is made from whole grain, which a lot of rye breads uh, tend to be uh, made out of, then one slice of the uh, whole grain bread uh, or the rye bread will represent one serving. Okay, now talking about those servings, uh, I did say limit yourself to two servings uh, per day now uh you don't have to if you are somebody uh, who has reversed their insulin resistance uh, or if you're physically active if you are really physically active then you're going to need uh, bigger savings so um that advice is for people who are just beginning to start off uh you know limit how much of the grains or the carbs that you consume as time goes on you can start uh, increasing your saving load okay so um hopefully these tips will serve you well um uh, if you got some value from this video as usual please give the video a thumbs up uh, please like the video and also uh, please uh, share this video with all diabetics that you know uh, if you got any questions regarding the grains and how to incorporate grains into your diet and uh, and some of the other videos that i did before regarding grains go ahead leave your comments down below or your questions down below I think that's about it. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.